What's up everyone? Today I have a fun little project that will blow your mind. That's right, today we're making this puppy. What is this thing? On the internet, it goes by several different names. The power pin, the stacked weight pin, the gym pin, or my personal favorite, the weight stack pin Olympic plate adapter, otherwise known as Wispopa. It basically allows more variety when working with a weight stack. I've got three options for you. Let's get started. Option one is the quickest and least expensive. I use a one inch dowel for this and cut it to four and a half inches. I take a drill bit and directly drill through the center of the dowel. I didn't calculate where the center is, I just sort of eyeballed it. Insert the carriage bolt, put the washers on, and tighten the nut. This is great for people like me who have random one inch plates sitting around. Now I can finally put them to use. Option two is pretty similar to the first option. In this one, however, I use a one and a half inch dowel. I cut it to four and a half inches and route the edges. Before I drill through the center, I'm gonna take my one inch Forstner bit and drill about an inch deep into one of the ends. Then I drill through the center of the dowel. I used my cordless drill for this step, and the only issue I ran into was that it's very hard to drill straight. It doesn't really matter though. I hammer the torque washer onto the flat end before inserting the bolt. I put the washers in the nut on the other end and tighten. With this version, just like the first version, I wouldn't go super heavy with the weights. Option number three is heavy duty and the most robust out of the three. Instead of using a carriage bolt, we'll be using a 3 8 inch steel rod. You'll need to cut it down to size. I use an angle grinder and a metal cutoff disc. Then I use my belt sander to get rid of any sharp edges. I use an inch and three quarter dowel for this one, cut it to four and a half inches, and drill a hole in the center. I like the idea of customizing, and since I have a laser, I figured, why not? For this project, I'm gonna customize these pins from my buddy Gluck. I laser his logo onto a couple one and three quarter inch dome discs. The rods will be held in place by epoxy. I add that to each one before inserting the steel rod. I add more epoxy to the end and attach the engraved disc and then use some old rusty weights to hold everything in place while it dries. I go over everything with 220 grit sandpaper and add a light coat of stain. Of course, they don't have to be pretty to get the job done. You could skip the engraving, paint them black, and call it a day. I test this one out using a couple 45s and it's more than capable. Hell yeah. 